incredible stories. Some stories are too wild to be believed. Today you're going to listen to a humorous story about cows from outer space who take some children from New York City on an afternoon trip to London, England. Objective. Today you will listen to a selection to identify elements of fantasy and realism. This is a humorous story about cows from outer space who take some children from New York City on an afternoon trip to London, England. Explain to your partner why you think this will be an interesting story. Look at the pictures to help you guess what might happen. In our story, the setting is going to be New York City. Some events are also going to take place in London. It takes about six hours to fly from New York City to London by plane. Cows from Outer Space by Gian Modisit. Why do you think this is an incredible story? Here's some vocabulary words that we're going to need to know for the story. Spaceship. Twenty-six cows. I'm Claude, and these are Kathy, Clued, Carlos, Clark, Connie, Cooper, Calvin, Casey, Clara, Carmen, Corey, Cindy, Christy, Conrad, Callie, Carol, Cleo, Clifford, Clive, Curtis, Chester, Clarence, Clint, Carl, and Candy. Whew! Promenades. A place for taking a walk, such as the sidewalk along a famous street. Adieu. French for goodbye. One day, a large spaceship landed in a park just outside New York City. The doors lifted up and out walked 26 cows. Greetings, said one of the cows to several children who'd gathered around the ship. Please allow me to introduce us. I'm Claude, and these are Kathy, Clyde, Carlos, Clark, Connie, Cooper, Calvin, Casey, Clara, Carmen, Corey, Cindy, Christy, Conrad, Callie, Carol, Cleo, Clifford, Clive, Curtis, Chester, Clarence, Clint, Carl, and Candy. We're on vacation, said Candy, and each of the cows gave the children a big smile. The children were absolutely delighted with the cows and were soon helping them set up their lounge chairs and unfold their umbrellas. Friendly chatter filled the air. Question number one. What are some details so far that show that this is a fantasy story? I believe the details that show this is a fantasy story are a spaceship lands, 26 cows exit from it, and the cows can talk because this cannot happen in reality. Let's continue the story. After more than an hour of talk, the cow Carol said, I've got an idea. Why don't we have afternoon tea in London? Wonderful, said the rest of the cows. Can we come too, asked the children, jumping up and down. Of course, said the cows, but you'll have to ask your parents first. And so off the children ran. Mom, Dad, they asked. Can we have tea in London with the cows from outer space? The parents looked at each other and winked. What charming children they had. What imaginations. Of course, they said. Just be sure to be back before supper. Thanks, said the children, and back to the spaceship they ran. We can come, they cried when they reached the cows. We can come. 
Question. Why don't we have afternoon tea in London? Drinking tea in London is a custom. Every afternoon, people stop whatever they are doing to enjoy a warm cup of tea. Question number two. Why do the parents think that the children have good imaginations? It is my opinion that the parents think that the children have good imaginations because the parents know that cows from outer space are not real. The parents also know that it takes a long time to travel from New York to London. Splendid, said the cows, and they all boarded the spaceship and flew off. Twenty minutes later, cow ships travel awfully fast. The travelers arrived in the middle of London. Several people gathered around the ship watching the cows and children step out. The adults shook their heads at the scene before them. What a foolish thing, they said, of people dressed as cows. Probably trying to sell a new brand of cheese, others grumbled. What a waste of money. The English children, however, knew cows from outer space when they saw them. They ran up to the spaceship and said, may we please join you? Of course, of course, said the cows and the American children. And so it was that they spent a most delightful afternoon together. They drank tea, visited museums, and strolled the promenades. After a while, however, it was time for the cows to go home. They hugged and kissed the English children and together with the American children, boarded their ship and flew back to New York. When they landed, the cows bid their farewells. Adieu, goodbye, they said tearfully to the children whom they'd grown quite fond of by now. Goodbye, said the children who were equally sad to see the cows go. Don't forget to write. We won't, said the cows, and then they boarded their spaceship and flew up into the evening sky. During supper that night, both the English and the American children told their parents of the wonderful afternoon they'd spent with the cows. And the parents smiled to themselves and thought, what imaginations children have. I wonder what they'll think of next. Question number three. Why don't the parents believe that their children spent the afternoon with the cows in London? It is my opinion that the parents don't believe their children spent the afternoon with the cows in London because the children are home in time for supper. Here's a chart. On the left side, talk to your partner and list some things that show that this story is fantasy. On the side that says realism, talk to your partner and list some things that show that this story could be realistic. 